Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and I am excited today to get to talk to you about a new update to one of my favorite apps in the world, Things 3. So version 3.14, the Pi release, just came out, and there are three main updates to it, one of which might be really exciting to you, and two of them that are kind of little details, but I wanted to mention anyway. So the first update is to notes. You can now use Markdown in the notes on your tasks. That's a really nice thing to have, especially if you use longer notes. So I use lists in my notes quite a bit, and it's really nice to have this automatically work. I'll show you that in a second. They've also improved how syncing works. Uh, this is kind of a transparent thing you won't really notice, uh, but they've improved how the data is passed around when it's synced between the cloud and your device uh, to be more efficient. So hopefully that'll be great. And then third, they also added uh, the ability to search inside individual tasks. Uh, so there's a new keyboard shortcut to find something in your individual task you're looking at, and you're able to do a find and replace in there. So if you're using the new markdown notes to take longer notes inside your tasks, that's a useful thing. So let's take a look at the changes now. Okay, so I've got my things pulled up right here, and I'm looking at my actual to-dos for today. And you can see one right here for create an outline for things video, which is what we're doing right now. So let me click into it to see my note, and I've already marked it up with Markdown. So the four things you can do with Markdown in things is you can bold text uh, with two asterisks. You can italicize it with a single asterisk. You can do headings, which I did here and here, and you can do lists. So ordered lists with numbers or dashes for uh, unordered lists. And this is super easy to do. So if I uh, go in here and do uh, like a heading for tests, and then I wanna make a list of one, two, Three, you can see it automatically, when I hit enter, automatically adds the next number. If I hit enter again, it assumes I wanna stop doing the list, so that's cool. Uh, and if I want to bold the word one, for example, I can select it and I can manually type in the asterisks or I can hit command B to bold it and command I to italicize it. And so that's kind of how all that works. Keyboard shortcuts work great for this. Uh, again, you can type it out manually if you like and you can also do it on the iPhone. Uh, now it is worth noting that these will stay as unstyled text. So you can kind of see bold italics, like it does do some styling for you, but all of the markdown stuff is still gonna be there. Uh, because things are still storing all your notes as plain text, uh, which is fine, I think, but just a thing to know, there's no like shortcut to make this look pretty, for example, uh, to just make it bold without the uh, asterisks or headings without the uh, hashtags. Oh God, what are those even called? Uh, pound signs. <laughs> so you can't do that uh, automatically. Now, if I wanted to search in here, right? So how many times did I say markdown? Previously, what I would have to do is do a command F and then I could search for things across all of my tasks. Uh, instead, now if I'm in a task, uh, what I can do is hit command shift F and now I'm searching inside this specific task. So I'm going to say uh, markdown, right? And so there we go, there's one, two, and there's just two of those. So that's easy enough. If you have a longer note, obviously that'll be more helpful. You can also click here to find and replace. And so maybe I wanna change markdown with uh, uh, friendly text, right? Doesn't make any sense, uh, but I can go ahead and replace all with friendly text there, it's cool. So now let me fix that friendly text, uh, markdown. There we go, replace all. Perfect, so now that's all back to normal. So that's in there as well. So you can search within individual tasks. The third one and final thing is not something I can really show. It's an update to how syncing works. Uh, and it's just the fact that you're gonna have larger tasks now and things wants to reduce the amount of data it's passing back and forth between your device and the server. And it's doing that by cutting your, it's basically only uploading what has changed in a task. Uh, so as it uploads right there, uh, it's just uploading what's changed in that task, not the entire task like it used to. Um, you're probably not gonna notice this. It still syncs at exactly the same times. So for example, if I'm in this note and I'm making changes uh, for, five, right? It's not syncing now. It's gonna wait until I click out of the task to sync it. Um, that's fine. It's really totally transparent, but is something that they mentioned in their release notes. So if you have any issues with it, definitely report it to Cultured Code uh, through the feedback in the app. But yeah, that's what's new in Things 3.14 that just came out for the Mac, iPhone, and iPad.